Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to use a template. And you can, if you have Photoshop, uh, Creative Suite, or Creative Cloud, Photoshop Elements, you can use PSD files or TIFF files. I'm going to open up a PSD file. And uh, this is my 2015 calendars templates and uh, we're going to work with the tops and so you'll see that I have my folder here with the PSD, the Photoshop document files and just going to double click on the um, first template here and um, sorry that that's the bottom we want the top <laughs> top there we go and when you open up a template it comes in layers uh, any template will come in layers and uh, the whole idea is to make scrapbooking way faster with a template. And the first thing you want to do is this is your layers palette over here. And the when you decide, okay, I'm going to try to do the photo, we want to go to that layer first. So if you hold down the control key and then click on your photo or on the layer that you want to go to, which for us is this photo, it'll jump to that layer in the layers palette. So now I'm going to grab a photo and I have um, these some wedding photos put up and again just double click on it and as long as it's set to your default it'll open up in Photoshop um, or you could always uh, right click and say you know open with and choose Photoshop. Uh, or just drag it into the Photoshop and it'll be in its own document when you drag a, a, a document into Photoshop and so then if you just click on it and drag it into the document you're working on it'll make it its own layer there uh, if you're doing a paper uh, I'll show you that in a minute if you're doing a paper you want to hold the shift key when you do that so it centers the layer but for this photo I don't need to worry about that so I'm just gonna click and drag it while I'm holding down the, the mouse key into this document. And um, you'll know it's bigger than the photo spot. That's okay. We'll fix that. Um, the first thing I do, would do, though, is clip it to the photo. So you have it above the layer that you want it to be on. And holding down the Alt key, you move your mouse in between the two layers until you see these overlapping circles. That means a clipping mask. And so with my finger still on the Alt key and that symbol up, I click on my mouse and it clips my photo to that layer. And then you'll still see the corners of the photo, even though it's been clipped to that. It hasn't cut it, it hasn't, you know, um, taken out parts of your photo. Your photo is still there. So now I'm going to click on the corner of my photo. It has the two arrows going diagonal here. If I just clicked on that corner, and now I'm going to hold this, I'm going to hit this uh, link button and that is to make sure that it resizes um, proportionally or you can hold down the shift key while you drag the photo. So I'm going to drag the corner of the photo now to shrink my photo so it fits into this photo spot. And then if you hold, if you pull your mouse out to the corner you'll see the curved arrow. That helps you rotate your photo. So all of those until you get the photo the way you want it and then you click this check mark to confirm it okay and you can always readjust it more if you feel like oh I want it even smaller or curve it back this way or that way so that's the basics of adding a photo to a template then let's start adding some scrapbooking papers um, and you can do the same for all these other photo spots too um, so let's say I want to change my background Let's hold down the control key and click on the background. And you'll see now it's selected that layer, jump to that layer. And then we can go to our scrapbooking supplies and find um, a paper. Uh, you, there's other ways to open up things, but I like to just see them in the photo. Let's see, let's go with something borrowed, something blue. That's a, that's a wedding one. And you find the paper you like. And um, again, as long as Photoshop is set to your default, you can either click, o um, right click it and do open with Photoshop or double click it and it'll automatically open it in Photoshop. And this time since it's a paper, if we just drag it over, it might not be centered or cover all the background. So when you drag it over, hold down the shift key 
I'm holding down the shift key. Now I'm going to click with my mouse, the left button of my mouse, and drag the paper onto this Photoshop document. And that centers it. You'll see the little crosshairs right here are centered in the center of my document to make sure that it goes to the edge all around. And so you just do that over and over again for the whole um, document. You know, uh, again, holding down the control key and clicking on a shape to jump to that layer and then if um, I want to get another photo say this family photo and I drag it onto this Photoshop document and as long as it's above the layer hold down the alt key and put the mouse in between the two layers click and it clips my um, photo to the layer and uh, the same thing goes for um, if you're clipping a paper to a shape. So let's say I want to do a, a paper on this red shape. Again, I hold the control key, click on the red shape, and then I'm going to uh, my papers and double click on what I want. And I'm going to hold the shift key as I drag it into the Photoshop document. And it's above the paper layer, so I hold down the Alt key, look for that symbol, click, and it clips my paper to that layer. So that's the basics of using a template for a um, for, for scrapbooking. Uh, now these little shapes, you know, you usually have elements that come in your kits that are flowers and leaves. So you may not want this flower shape. You may have an actual flower you want to use. What I do is I still go, okay, I want a flower right there. So I still hold down control and click on the shape. So I go, okay, there's the flower layer right there. And then I go to my kit and I find the flower that I want to put there instead. So I'm like, yeah, let's put, uh, let's put this flower. Double click on the flower, bring it in and drag it onto the document and you may want to resize it again you can either hold the shift key while you drag the corners or click on this link button up here that'll keep it proportionate as you drag it so I use the template as a place set, place set holder to know where to put the flower then you could even just copy the drop shadows of the template so I go to the layer that has the shape flower and I right click on it and I go to copy layer style and then I click on my flower that I added and I right click it and I go paste layer shower layer bleh, sorry bleh, paste layer style and it has given that flower the same drop shadow as the shape flower and then to, you can either delete this layer with the trash can tool once it's selected on that layer or if you think I don't want to delete it just yet you can just click on this little eye and that just makes it invisible it makes it not show up on your layout it's still there in case you decide to clip a paper to it or just move it around but you can always delete it as well just by using the trash can and the layers gone so that's uh, pretty much it uh, text layers you want to hit um, the text tool before you click on it and then you can edit the text there and you know put the date or um, whatever and always hit that check mark if it won't let you do something hit the check mark to um, to, to save what you just did so I hope this helps if you have any questions leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.